The conflict in Congo has been going on for you know over a decade now, and in the past decade, over four million people have died, and no one knows that that many people have died. No one has any idea what's going on, and it's because there wasn't a genocide there, there wasn't a tsunami, there wasn't a Hurricane Katrina. It, you can't put a, a name on what's going on there, and it's really horrifying the magnitude of of the conflict there, and and. We were hoping to make a film that would sort of shed light on the conflict on a very personal level. We wanted to focus on these Congolese women helping other Congolese women because it's it's really that's how these women are going to heal. It's not through aid from us. It's not through the the medical operation. It's it's from learning that it wasn't their fault that they were raped. It wasn't their fault that their families abandoned them and that they have every right to live as any other human does. There are times where Lumo would, uh, you know, where you could see that she was very hopeful for, uh, you know, to, to become healed and really, you know, d didn't want to wait at the hospital anymore, wanted to uh, get back to her mother and wanted to, um, you know, just wanted to resume her, her normal life. But then there were other times where, um, you know, where, I mean, at one point she says, uh, you know, to be healed for what? She is going back to a situation where, you know, there is a, there is potential that it could happen to her again, and so that was you know it, it just sort of being faithful to that reality was something that was very important to us.